61A lecture number two, announcements. This is the course website, cs61a.org. Announcements for each lecture will always appear on the course website at the top. Announcements include links to any assignments that are due, as well as some text telling you what's going on in the course. Live lecture number two will be held in Zellerbach Auditorium, just like lecture number one. After that, we move to Poly Ballroom. Waitlisted students who hope to enroll should turn in all assignments on time. Starting next week, lab and discussion attendance counts for section participation points. Are you still confused about where your lab and discussion are? You should be enrolled or waitlisted in a particular lab. You can see the weekly schedule of all labs and discussions here in the weekly schedule part of the website. cs61a.org slash weekly.html. Okay, let's go to next week, and you'll see that there's labs on Tuesday and Wednesday, discussion on Thursday and Friday. If you're in lab 110, you can find the location and the teaching assistant there. You're also in discussion 110, which has the same teaching assistant different location. If you ever need to contact your teaching assistant, you can go to the staff page, find them, and you'll find their email. And they'll be so happy to hear from you, so go ahead and email them. Okay, not everybody at once, but feel free to email your TA directly if you need something, or you can post on Piazza. This big blue box is for Lab Zero, which is due on Monday, the 29th. Lab Zero helps you set up your computer for the class. If you need help, you can come to Office Hours. Now, Office Hours, linked here and also up here, are held for many hours a week. Not this week, but next week. So you can see all the Office Hours and who's holding them. Um, office Hours before 6 p.m. are hold, held in 109 Morgan Hall, so that would be all of these from 3 to 6. And then we have evening office hours as well that are held in Quarry Hall, and you can have a map for those. So all these are held in Quarry Hall. All these are held in Morgan Hall. And what about this one? Well, that's held in Soda Hall because that's where my office is. Morgan Hall is in a really nice part of campus down here. It's got a pretty courtyard outside. You just enter that door, and you'll find 109 right away in the Nutritional Sciences and Toxicology Building. Not the Computer Science Building, but frankly, there's not enough room in the Computer Science Building for all the computer science that happens on this campus. So these folks in Morgan Hall were nice enough to lend us some space. So take a look at Lab Zero. Try to complete it over the weekend. If you get stuck, come on in on Monday. Um, you can come to Lab next week, where there will be a separate lab assignment, Lab 1 in which you'll start working on course material. There's also a homework that will be released this Friday and due next Thursday. It really has two parts. The main part are the regular homework problems, which can be completed with a partner, turned in with a partner, and you can discuss them with anyone. Don't share your code with everybody. Only share your code with your partner. But if you want to talk about solution strategies with other people, that's just fine. But I want you to have a way to check whether you're making sufficient progress that you could do well on the exams and that you're following along with the course. And that's what the quiz component of the homework is for. So the quiz is a couple problems at the end that should be completed by yourself so that you can check to make sure that you're understanding how to use the techniques we've talked about in the course. Just because it's called a quiz doesn't mean it's going to affect your grade in any way. Both the homework and the quiz are graded in such a way that you could still receive full credit for the homework assignment, even without solving everything, as long as you make significant progress on each question. Exactly what do we mean by significant progress? Well, you should be close to on track to getting the right answer for every problem. We won't tell you exactly what it takes to meet the threshold because we don't want you to stop. You should try to complete the whole homework and solve all the problems. That's how you're going to learn everything. But if you don't quite make it, don't panic. Just turn in what you have, and you can receive full credit as long as it's clear that you made progress on each question. 
If you haven't signed up for Piazza yet, you should do that by following this link. And those are the announcements.